Well, it's not underneath my shoe uh, so much as uh, being blocked by my shoe. It is a massive, massive solifuge. And for many people, the most terrifying animal out here. It's not quite a spider, it's not venomous, it has got some vicious biting mouth parts, however. And this one, I think, has been caught out in the day. It's normally around in the night time. And if I move my shoe, I suspect it'll start to move off eventually. Let's see. I mean, it really is a very big example of a solifuge. Let's give him a little bit of a, an encouragement, shall we? Hello. Come on. Yeah, he's decided that he's quite angry now. I'll see if I can get him to bite this. Uh, there we go. Just look at his mouth parts moving. You see that? They saw. So his mandibles have got these sores on them. There, now he's, now he's trying to push this out of his mouth. But they've got these vicious sores on them. He's got four kind of biting mouth parts, two on the top, two on the bottom, and they saw almost completely independently of each other. See that? See them going? I mean, look at the muscle driving them. Oh, goodness sakes, this grass is irritating. Look at the m muscles there that are driving those mouth parts. Isn't that amazing? They're enormous. Now, I wouldn't want to get my skin in the way of these sawing mouth parts. Hello. And I think the only reason, these are, they're extremely fast moving, and I think the only reason he's not moving faster is because of the temperature. Look at that. Oh, you wouldn't want to be bitten by that. And I'm sure that you were all having a squealing time at the sight of this vicious creature. Now imagine, of course, you can see exactly why so many of the extraterrestrials that we find on movies are based on the mouth parts or heads of insects, because this thing, at our human size, can you imagine the terror you'd feel if you saw something this, or something the size of a lion designed like this? I think it would be quite terrifying. Craig, you're right there. You're making a few sort of grunting noises. Are you, are you okay, are you? For now. If bushwalk cameramen do have quite a physical job. Mm. <laughs> and BB, you say this is worse than watching lions eat a buffalo. I know exactly what you mean. This creature just looks terrifying, doesn't it? And look how it's, look how its head is balanced, sort of in this. I don't know what it is. It's sort of a, a cup almost on the abdomen that holds it in place because its head is largely just jaws. Nancy, you say the stuff of nightmares. Well, absolutely, it is the stuff of nightmares, isn't it? And you can imagine watching something much bigger than this same design with a couple of sound effects thrown in. Terrifying. Oh, All right, Craig, should we leave him? Ooh, I got a fright there. I was knocked out of my complacency. All right, off you go. 